got too many hoes. But then you hate you. You like to put that shit in your nose. But I still love you. Be doing shit that nobody knows. In the streets, they be thinking you're a lady for that home. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Tamar G.I. And if you read by the title, we are getting into these revamp for these curly 3A, 3B clip ins. Now, I've had these clip ins for a month. So the last time I wore them, I wore them straight out of the package. So now I just wanted to wash them and just get them looking really, really good and getting like the true curl, like exactly how they look after them being freshly washed. Just to show you guys and then also since this is a one month update, you guys can see how the hair is holding up. So um, curl, Curls Queen clippings will last you for a very long time because I, already, I have some clippings from them for like a year or two ago. And after I revamp them just exactly how I am doing in this video, they always go back to exactly how they were. I never have any problems out of them, which is perfect. But as you guys can see, first I'm going in with my Silk Elements shampoo. And I'm just getting all that dirt and stuff out and just making sure I'm very thorough with these clippings because you know when I do my clippings sometimes I end up clipping like I end up cutting some of them so I have more pieces than what I started with so when you are cleaning your clippings like just make sure that you're getting all of the hair and that you're actually like detangling the hair in the process running your fingers through the hair and everything especially with curly hair so that you won't have any knots or anything so I'm just going through the hair just trying to get it all saturated and clean and shampooed. So now I'm going in with my silicone mix and this silicone mix will get your bundles right. We'll get your bundles right, we'll get your hair right, your wig right, anything you need to give a good revamp to or just like bring back the curls or anything. The silicone mix is going to do it for you now. Today I'm using the coconut one but the silicone bamboo mix is what I normally use all the time and it works really good. But any silicone mix does work really well and it just helps you get through the hair way easier than a like regular conditioner like every time i use silicone mix the silicone mix it just helps me glide straight through and as you guys can see i am detangling these clip-ins with my hands and i did use a little bit of the comb but then i started back using my hands because it was just that much easier as soon as the silicone mix touches the hair it just brings it back like as you guys can see and then i also like to let these sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before washing them out the longest i'll probably let them sit is like an hour or two if i'm really doing something and i forgot about them um you can leave this on your hair for no matter how long you want to you can leave it in overnight if you would like it's really just up to you because it's nothing but a conditioner it's not nothing that's going to damage the hair so if you want to leave it in overnight you can as well but you know 15 to 20 minutes or even 20 30 minutes to an hour is really perfect and if you're really really trying to revamp your wig or your bundles or anything um leaving it in for an hour or so would be perfect and that's just a little bit of hair that i got from detangling all of the clip-ins and i just wanted to like show you guys the like realistic of the maintenance of these clip-ins and what you would do before you install them so that little bit of hair wasn't a lot which is very very great because when you are working with clip-ins and stuff like that and if you are cutting them and stuff you are going to see some shedding but not shedding that's like oh my gosh like why is my hair shedding like just normal shedding because you know our hair sheds there's no bundle on earth 
that is just not going to shed you're going to get one or two pieces of strands and that's just being very realistic but as you guys can see i am just washing out all of the silicone mix and the hair is back popping and looking so so cute y'all like y'all see these curls period what's up y'all it is literally one o'clock in the morning i'm doing this at this time because like this is literally how easy it is to put these clippings in so y'all see i have my foundation already ready y'all know y'all know the foundation be struggle braids like don't even act like y'all didn't know that that's what i was about to give y'all because that's what i was about to give y'all i have the clippings freshly washed and blow dried not blow dried but they're air dried we're gonna be doing a braid out i've never done a braid out before so this should be really really cute and actually really fun to do I have all of my clippings in my unicorn towel <laughs> for my leave out section this is all leave out because i want to be able to do a side or like a flip over in a middle part as well so i have the majority of this out and then this is just what i'm leaving out on the sides i'm not leaving anything else out in the back so everything else out is going to be like braided i'm just going to go ahead and start putting these clippings in as you guys can see these are what the clippings look like in my last video, y'all saw I put them in the texture of them coming right out the box. And that was like a really, really cute, curly texture. Really, really cute. But um, this is how it looks when it is washed and blow dried. And the curls are like stretched to its true length or whatever. Y'all see how easy that was to put these clippings in. I'm gonna go get my gel and stuff. Oop, let me just put these little baby these little braids out the way. I'm gonna go get my gel and stuff because I kind of want to have my baby hair stuff kind of already, kind of how I'm gonna have them before I do the braid outs. So rock it more so in the middle because the last time I was really like really gun hold on my side part because the side part was just so cute and then um I don't know I might want to or I don't know I might want to free part it out more I don't know we'll see we'll see but I'm gonna go ahead and take out my hair on the sides too
Okay, yeah, this looks a little bit more full and then my hair looks like it's just gonna blend on in, which is great. And then for this one, um, where do I wanna add? This little one. I can add this right here. Make sure it don't come out. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. You can kind of flip your clips and do like you a little side part to the side if you want to and just take a little bit of the hair and bring it out. But I feel like, like I said before, for this install, we're really gonna really like highlight the middle part. And luckily I have my unicorn towel here. <laughs> I also have some perm rods and I'm gonna take some perm rods and put them at the end of each braid that I'm doing because I want to braid the hair into like braid my hair with the clip-ins not like have it separated of this fresh to death wash and go leave-in curl refreshener I'm gonna spray it in my hand because I don't know why it sprays out like this so I'm gonna spray it in my hand and just go over my hair this I feel like the braid out and what I'm about to do is um, a better alternative to how I did my hair the last time because I did use heat so if you want to do clippings and you don't want to use any heats here is your alternative and then it already looks like my hair is blending pretty well um my hair isn't like damp and my curls aren't very very defined right now because my hair was blow dried I'm trying to get my hair back to its like regular state before we start this braid out but it's pretty much blending it's blending a little good so far okay so i got these little perm rods to go on the ends of my hair I'm not sure which ones I'm really gonna use or I might do like a mixture of both but yeah so I have some Cantu mousse and I'm just gonna apply that on the parts where my hair is mostly and then just go ahead and do the braid we're just literally doing a braid and then sealing the bottom with these now I'm not doing a whole bunch of braids my goal is to probably do about nine or ten not too much Maybe I need to add a little bit of gel to my hair. Just a little bit of gel to my hair and put it on. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Oh, okay. Y'all know I don't be doing my natural hair for real, for real, for real. So I might have just cracked the coat with something doing this. Take a little extreme girl, a little pump of mousse. Just 
just go in and okay that just make it that made it blend like even more than what it was already doing hold on Oh my gosh, that made it blend like even more. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this. Might take some edge control on a little bit of these outside parts and just have that kind of going up. So that my hair can be going like up. To run the streets in the dark out and come through and throw your back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. No, no. Okay, I said I was only gonna do like 10, but I'm already at eight and it looks like I probably got two more, probably two more, yeah, two more sections of this side. So I might be doing a little over 10, but that's not too bad. So one, two, one, two, three, there's four.
These look cute though, like, hold on. Should I do some jumbo knotless braids soon? Cause this is cute. Have all of my little things in. I have a total of one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so that's four more than I thought I was gonna have, which is not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair down, but I'm gonna take a little bit of mousse on both of these sides and just do that to it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it down with a scarf because I want the top to still be real laid. This is making me really want to do some box braids. Like this is making me want to do some jumbo knotless. Like Take my bonnet fresh out the washer, fresh out the dryer. It's just uh oh. Now I'm about to go to sleep and I will catch y'all in the morning. All right y'all, so it is the next day and my hair is fully dry. Why is some of my hair still wet? Like, that don't even make no sense. Realize they come. 
To run the streets in the dark, I'll be come through, but if I got smoke, that's okay. I can't leave you alone, no, no. This is pretty much like the finished product of the braid out and it looks so freaking cute like i really really like it now like it looks really cute i just took a whole bunch of pictures a whole bunch of everything like like it actually looks like super cute i really really like it like i kind of want to try the side and see just see what the side is hitting for just to see how it will look in the side but I don't want to like mess up the middle because the middle looks really really cute but it doesn't look bad in the side either like it doesn't look too bad in the side like it actually looks really cute in the side but like I don't want to like perfect it too too much because then it's gonna mess up my middle part, but the side looks really cute too. Like, it's cute in the side part. Yeah, you guys, this is the finished product of the braid out and the update on these clip-ins. And as you guys can see, these clip-ins are still thriving. They still looking real, real good. I have Curls Queen clip-ins from almost a year ago that are still really, really good. When it comes to clip-ins, I feel like Curls Queen is like one of the like better companies to get like curly clip-ins from. So make sure y'all click that link down below and shop Curls Queen hair for all of your clip-ins and all of your cute curly hair because they definitely definitely did it like this is so cute if you guys have any questions make sure you guys comment down below and if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give your girl a like comment and subscribe and we'll be back with more videos soon stay blessed jab babies we out